For another shave on Shaving with Rich. Today's shave is brought to you by uh, Sterling Bay Rum sample. I've had for some time. You can tell by the significant yellowing around the edges. Um, we'll be using the uh, Razor Rock 400. Today's instrument is the Razor Rock, but this time with this 0.68 plate, which came in the mail yesterday. And we'll be finishing up with. Uh, mislabeled. This is, says Virgin Island Bay Rum, but it's really a dog from every town uh, Bay Rum, which has some of the Clubman, uh, several samples, and uh, Gables and Superior 70. There's a mixture of all that in there. I didn't put a whole lot of too much. I didn't want to overpower with the two bigger ones. That would be more Bay rum's going into the jar as time goes. I have a sample mushed in the bottom here and it's been soaking in the super lather solution. So we're going to see how it does if, if significant aging helps the uh, helps or hurts lathering. I don't think it matters too much. I don't think soap really cares. Soap is soap. I got a lot of Bay Rum. It's one of the scents that the spouse unit likes a lot. Because she seems to... When she buys me after shave, she buys me a Bay Rum. But I think it's because that's what she recognizes. And it could be, I don't know, she hasn't said too much one way or the other. As, well, part of the reason why I have so different, many different scents is I'm trying to find the one that she likes. And she says, yeah, that's nice. She says that about all of them. She doesn't have any, except for a couple that she doesn't care for quite as much. And those are the ones I will pile it on a little bit just to rankle her a little bit, but that's that's just me being me. Really, sterling soap is being sterling soap, and it's making a flawless, very highly sheened lather. I don't know if you can see the sheen in this. This is not a very high uh, resolution camera. Wet my face again, brought back. So we got another snow last night. It was all clear yesterday, and today we have a snow day. Good enough that uh, spouse unit didn't even have to go to work today. She called because it got snow, and then it turned to freezing rain on top of the snow and got kind of crispy. And because of the kind of work she does, there's going to be a lot of people not showing up for their appointments and whatnot, so they don't need everybody there. And it's 35 miles to get to work, so it's safer for her to stay home, so she did. So it's kind of a relaxed morning here at the house. When I first switched over to uh, cooler lathers, I thought it was so strange, but now I can't imagine doing too much different. This is get, this is what she gets used to, I guess. Okay, let's do this thing. This is a little milder plate. Only by a few thousandths of an inch or what millimeter 0.68 millimeters I don't know 
it definitely feels a little milder. They cut things off. I can, I can hear them screaming out in pain as they're. being severed. Get out of this. Blade is finally starting to go a little bit. I'm still using the same Gillette Silver Blue. This would be its tenth use. The little floaties in the in the water here are a little bit shorter. I don't know if it's from the uh, razor or is this I'm not cutting as much. I think I'm right on the edge of almost having more water than Sterling can handle. Kind of learning all over again to, to lather, trying a new technique using a super lather and a spritzer. Boy, you got a lot of control over how much water goes in. This lather is on the soupy side which is nice, I like it this way. Except it makes a mess, it goes all over the place. I'm resisting the urge to go out and fire up the snow blower and blow all the snow off because first it's really wet and it's raining, or will be raining later this morning and then it'll all be gone by tomorrow. I do have a hearing aid appointment today, so. We'll see if they call me about canceling or something. Because all the schools are shut down. And I don't know why they would do that, because, well, maybe it's worse out there than I expect. I haven't been outside yet. Point six eight. This uh, this plate is. Uh, I didn't expect a. Couple thousands to make much difference. Surprisingly, it is a noticeable difference in feel. Razor is just as efficient, although I think I'm making more passes because I feel more confident, more or less. Uh, I don't know. More, more confident. More. All right. I feel like I can chase the babies a little quicker, a little bit more with this. With the six eight, or with the eight four, it's a a little bit more blade feel to it, commanding respect. But so this would be kind of like a hangover razor. So when you're unable to 
pay close attention. Or you just don't want to be careful. You can use a milder plate and uh, don't have to be so concerned about. damaging the old hull plating. It's still taking whiskers off. There's nothing left. I mean, I'm super smooth right here on the prow of the ship there. I'd say that'll do. I think the .68 is no longer in production um, because I had to email him and he said he had a few laying around in the toolbox and he chipped me one so that's what I got. Uh, I had to, you know, I paid for a 8.4 and they sent me the 6.8 and they said it was a blend but I can't find anything wrong with it. it it's still just as even as smooth as the other. Maybe they cleaned it up for him. That's nice. Uh, we're pretty much done. Everything is smooth. Let me do a quick clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, well thank you for waiting. Today's shave, like I said, was a, was a really good one. I could, yeah, I kind of expect that from the game changer. But uh, I'm very successful with the new plate. Uh, today was we were using uh, Sterling's Bay Rum. I just knocked off a little corner. And uh, my dog from every town, Bay Rum. And our Game Changer Point uh, 68. And uh, we were using the Razor Rock 400. Uh, I guess it's a knockoff, but I think it's a lot heavier than the original. And uh, I want to thank you guys for coming to visit me. I try to be here every other day, but it doesn't always work out that way. Um, I hang out mostly at the Shaven Cadre, and uh, there's me, and there's several other the usual suspects um, making content on the uh, on the video boards, and of course there's all kinds of other conversation and stuff going on those boards too. Um, come and play. You know, worst can happen is you can have a good time. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.